Assalamu alaikum. In this video, we will show you how to assemble the BKP-130 65EQ2, a reflector telescope with an equatorial mount. Let's proceed to the video. Okay, before we proceed, we need to know what's inside the box. Inside the box, we have the tripod, aluminum tripod. The equatorial head mount. The counterweight. And the counterweight bar shaft. Control cables. Accessory tray. The eyepieces. 10 and 25 millimeter. And the finder scope. Our 130 millimeter reflector tube with the tube rings wrapped around it. So, in, on a flat surface, before spreading out your tripod, open these knobs and then adjust it to your desired position or desired height. Inside the box, you will find the steel mount like this. So what you want to do is put this screw on this side and then you have these two knobs right here. Loosen them so you can rotate like this. It should look like this. And then Place your head mount on the top of your tripod. This is screw right here. We'll tighten the head mount. And then, this one, you just need to adjust this a little bit until you reach your desired position. For more tripod stability, just put this accessory tray here. Take out the screws and place it from the bottom. Just like that. So you'll have a place for you to put all your accessories. Inside the box, you will find that your tube rings are attached to the tube. So what you will do is take out the tube rings so you can attach it to your head mount. As you can see here, you need to disattach this screw from your tube ring. Then, from the bottom, you attach the screw back to your tube ring. Repeat the process on your next tube ring. Then, using this small wrench that comes from the box, you can use this to tighten up your screws. Then, you see, this bar shaft will be attached from the bottom of your head mount. Put a little force to tighten it. Then, use the small screws, screwdriver to remove the screws from the bottom. And then, Lock the knob here so you can slide your counterweight through the bar shaft. Don't forget to put back the lock so 
if the counterweight accidentally slides down, it won't fall down to your feet. Take your control cables, and tighten the screws. In this part, you will see a notch where you can put your control cables and tighten the screws. Same as the other one, you need to put it here and find the notch so it won't slide down. You can use this tool to tight the screws for your control cables. At this time, we are ready to put the tube. Open your tube rings. If you are alone, make sure that you are on the back of your tube. So if it accidentally slides down, you are here to catch it. Close it, and then tighten the screws. Mostly, inside of the box, this rubber ring is attached to your finder adapter. Tight these two screws so you can slide in your finder screw. This rubber is attached to your finder screw. You need to pull this down and put your finder scope backwards, not like this. You need to put it backwards. Pull this pin and slide your finder scope. At this part, you will attach your finder scope. Lock this screw first. It's not that hard. Just slide in and then tighten it back. For you to attach your eyepiece, take out the cover and unlock the two screws. These are hand screws, so it won't be hard for you to and tight it. Make sure that you always use a 25mm for a wide angle viewing. Slide this in and lock. There you have it. You already assembled your BKP-130 6.5 EQ2. But it's not it. You need to balance it and align the finder scope to the eyepiece. Okay, why do we need to balance our telescope? It's simple. Because if you open these two knobs right here, you will see that your telescope is falling down on either side, either on the left side or on the right side. So what you want to do is balance your telescope so it won't fall down on anywhere you want to move it. So using these two knobs, you just put your telescope horizontally, like this, and then lock. You just need to open the lock for your tube rings. Not too open, 
so it won't fall down. Just give yourself a way for you to push it forward. So now, as you can see, it's all balanced. After that, just tighten your tube rings back. For the next step, as you can see, the tube is heavier than your counterweight. So put it horizontally like this. As you can see, this side is falling. You just untie this knob right here and slide your counterweight until your tube and counterweight have the same weight. As you can see, it's now balanced. One more thing, you are using an equatorial mountain telescope. That's why, if so happen your target is in front of you, you're standing in front of your target, don't put your telescope towards your target. Why? Because if your target is a little bit low, like this, you can move down your tube. Why? Because it's an equatorial mount. What you will do is face your target and then your telescope must be horizontally in front of you. So you can unlock these knobs and move your telescope up, down, left, right. We will use this letter O as our target for alignment. Face your target and put the telescope horizontally in front of you. Make sure that you can see to the eyepiece that letter O over there. You just move your telescope like this and then find the letter O inside your eyepiece. Make sure that you're able to see your target in your eyepiece and then use the focusing knob for you to find it clear. When it's already inside the eyepiece, you just lock these knobs and then use the control cables instead for you to put it on the middle of the eyepiece perfectly. So by moving your control cables, make sure that the letter is inside your eyepiece. It's inside the eyepiece and it's in the middle. And then, as long as the target is inside the eyepiece, what you will do is go to your finder scope and use these two two little hand screws and then you will see the cross moving as you move the screws. Play with these two screws until you find the cross on the top of the letter O. And once your target here is inside the eyepiece, your telescope is now aligned. So, there you have it. Right now, you know how to assemble, balance, and align your Skywatcher BKP-13 65EQ2. From us, Kamala Lulum. Thank you for watching. Masalama.